Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we have a Victoria's Secret haul. As you guys know, I post about all the sales on my YouTube community tab, and I'll put a picture here. If you guys ever miss it, I do post on here about all the sales and everything going on and whatever I come across that I see on all the fragrance and big websites. Also, if you guys don't ever see my community posts, because sometimes you don't see them, like you see them on the homepage, but sometimes someone may just not see it that day or they may not be online over there but where everyone goes to is Instagram. So if you guys ever miss it, I do post on my Instagram just as much and equally as my YouTube. But yeah, so I, you know, do post everything on Instagram and you guys can keep up with me or message me or whatever. Just make sure you follow me on Instagram. I would very much appreciate it. So if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, your choice. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there just in case, you know, you guys ever miss something. I will post about it on those two platforms. But yeah guys, so basically I did post about all the sales. I said all that just to say that I post about the sales on there and recently and currently they're having a lot of sales going on, like so many. But I had got this from the prior sale from the $7.95 um, pink body mist and lotions and then the five for 35 Victoria's Secret um, lotions and sprays and they also had a $5.95 um, lotion spray sale so that's what these 12 items I'm gonna show you guys are from so basically most of this is a repurchase to be real with you guys this was such a good sale almost like SAS in a way so yeah I want to go ahead and stock up on some things and that's what I did so this right here Y'all already know. I got backups of this Blackberry Fizz. This is part of their Shine Through new Christmas um, Victoria's Secret collection. This is called Blackberry Fizz. I got two sprays and a lotion in it and I already have a third spray that I showed you guys because I reviewed the Shine Through collection. If you missed it, I will link that down below or if you just wanna watch it again, the link will be down below for you guys. But yeah, I did review this collection and this one was my most favorite one out of that collection. And actually, out of all three of the Christmas collections that they came out with, this one was my favorite one. Look at that gorgeous blue sparkly packaging. Oh my goodness, I cannot. So pretty. So Blackberry Fizz says it has Blackberry Sorbet, Velvet Dahlia, Shine Bright. You guys, this smells amazing. It smells amazing. This Blackberry Dahlia also reminds me of the Moonlit Dahlia, I believe, which was one of their fall lines that they came out with years ago. I only ever had one bottle of that. This one is better, guys. Even... To be honest, I love also Bath & Body Works Dahlia, but this Dahlia scent takes the cake. I'm so sorry, Dahlia. I still love you, girl, but this one takes the cake. You definitely get a Blackberry Sorbet Dahlia smell. This is a very much fruity, floral, and gourmand to me a little bit because of that sorbet in there. I find it to be a very fruity, floral, Dahlia Blackberry Sorbet Gourmand scent with some fizziness in there. I don't know how they get the fizziness in there, but this smells sweet, but yet floral, but not too much floral. And then also the added note that I get from this is powder. Like Dahlia scents smell kind of powdery on me and clean. I don't know why. So I'm getting like a fruity floral gourmand sorbet powder smell on my skin. But this is very strong and it lasts and I love it. Of course, you know I love it. I have three sprays and a lotion, so I have four items in this line. I love it. It smells amazing and I do plan to get up to maybe 10 because I love it that much. You guys got to understand that when Victoria's Secret or really any website, but really Victoria's Secret, with them 
they take away scents and they really take away a lot of seasonal and limited edition scents like this is limited edition so that means it's only available for a short while so you got to stock up on it before it basically goes away i'm not playing no games victoria's secret has came out with a lot of gems and took them away okay like i loved squeeze of pineapple in the summer line i love endless days of the summer i have all those old fragrances in my collection this one is staying okay I'm gonna try to stock it up and I will use them I'm not hoarding them they're limited edition don't judge me don't come for me okay but yeah when you see a scent you love stock up on it girl okay I'm not even playing these next three are also repurchases for me because again I hauled them in one of my Victoria's Secret hauls prior so this one is a repurchase of cozy sugar y'all be giving this a bad rap I love cozy sugar it doesn't smell weird or cheap or perfumey to me um it smells very nice to me personally but again what may smell good to me might smell differently to you or what smells not good to you might smell good to me so yeah I really like cozy sugar a lot and this says it has toasted marshmallow and vanilla I get like a very creamy sugary marshmallow vanilla scent from this it's not your typical vanilla or your typical marshmallow I like it. It smells very sweet to me, kind of gourmand, you could say, very warm. On my skin, it does get lighter over time, but it does last for a few hours on me, and I can still smell this one out of a lot of like body mist that I sprayed on me of theirs. So yeah, in that three line, that vanilla line with the fresh vanilla, the pink coconut, and this cozy sugar, I like cozy sugar the best. Again, you guys give it a bad rap. I love it. It smells so good to me. And yeah, I have two of them now. The next one is Whipped Dream, which everybody and their mama is talking about it. Everyone loves Whipped Dream. It came in their I Want Candy collection on Victoria's Secret Pink. Everybody loves this and it's a cute little pink straw in there. But this one says it has cake sprinkles and vanilla caramel in it look at the straw you guys it reminds me of the old bath and body works um that summer line that had the straws with the pink lemonade fizz in there love that it's so pretty this one smells amazing everyone was saying is it a dupe for christmas cookies vanilla be noel or confetti cake pop I never smelled confetti cake pop again I did a review on the I want candy collection so I'll probably link that down below too for you guys if you did miss it but this one is not a vanilla be noel dupe the only thing that's similar is the caramel that they added in vanilla be noel back into that one this year but the caramel note is the only similar aspect to me in that fragrance to this and also compared to this I did compare Christmas cookies um it is kind of similar but also not an exact dupe you pretty much replace the Christmas cookie aspect with the cake because this one has cake and the other one has cookies in it and also the fragrance note that's the same is the caramel in this and that one so you take out the almonds out of Christmas cookie and you take out the cookies and then you replace it with cake and vanilla and then you'll have your whipped dream for you so it is a very similar gourmand sweet scent but it is not the same and again i don't have confetti cake pop to compare it to because i never got that fragrance it sold out super fast but yeah this one whip dream is in a league of its own it's a very sweet definitely cakey vanilla caramel gourmand scent not the most long lasting but it smells amazing okay you guys so this one you want to layer if you want to smell like a snack okay like a complete edible snack okay and the next fragrance which is also again a repurchase for me because i did haul it before this one is mary pink miss in their mary pink miss pink line this one says it has frosted berries and white hibiscus so a fruity floral fragrance mary pink miss smells so good to me i only have two of them but i need to get like 10 <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This smells straight like a frosted sweet berry smell, but it's very, very fresh because of the white hibiscus. And you guys know I don't like florals, but I do definitely and will always make an exception for hibiscus. 
it smells so fresh every time it makes the fragrance smell like laundry to me i love the hibiscus note and anything and that is a floral i will always accept okay you heard it here first this just smells like a very fruity floral fresh fragrance it is so nice it's just so fresh and this is a christmas one Oh, I love it. Oh, if I want something fresh and sweet, this is what I'm going to go for and definitely what I'm going to pick up. And again, I plan on using all my stuff. Like I'm on a mission project, use it up. So yeah, these hauls are not going to go in vain because I'm going to use up or give away or sell my stuff um, a lot because I just want to shrink my collection, but that'll be a whole nother video. But yeah, I do plan on using up like pretty much all my stuff that I want to use up. Okay, you guys, and the last four fragrances that I'm going to show you guys are four of them that I have not tried so these are new to me so here I have pink coconuts this was in their vanilla collection I do have fresh vanilla but in this haul I have two of them the cozy one again is my favorite however I got the pink coconut to complete that pink vanilla collection pink coconut which I didn't hear good things they said this one smelled like nasty too but the pink coconut says it has coconut cream and iced vanilla so this pink coconut I don't like I'm gonna be real with you guys most of you guys know I do not like coconut scents and I only make a rare exception like winter sky in their other collection or my frosted coconut snowball that I really do love this pink coconut I do not detect vanilla at all in here I smell like a creamy moldy coconut mixed with some type of floral smell I don't know if it's just me that's what my nose is picking up in this pink coconut fragrance I don't like it and yeah, it does smell kind of weird. The next one that's new to me that was in like their spa line that they came out with. It was only three fragrances. I have two out of the three now. But this one is Victoria's Secret Green Pear and Citrus. And this is the Refresh one. It's in a pretty light green bottle. My favorite. Very simple packaging on this one, which I don't mind. So this one says hit refresh with the scent of green pear and citrus, botanical inspiration, pure invigoration. So this is supposed to like refresh you and also be again part of their like spa line that they came out with. So this is supposed to be like a very refreshing, kind of calming a little bit, like citrusy, fruity type of fragrance. This is definitely really nice. I actually do feel a little bit refreshed, like wearing this. Like it smells like a spa would smell like, very clean, light, like refreshing, airy, calming. Like that's what, it, well it's not really calming, but it smells like it could be, you know? This one is really nice. I'm detecting maybe the citrus might be a lemon. Like I'm smelling a lemon pear citrus fruity type of smell. It just smells really clean. So if I'm going for something very like refreshing and clean, like I would go for this one. This one would be great for summer and spring, but also an everyday scent. Like you can wear this even in the winter. Like you'll just smell very clean and citrusy and very fruity fresh. I have to get at least one more of these and maybe the lotion too or body wash or something. I don't know, but this smells good. The next thing that is new is this Cocoa Christmas Lotion from Pink. It is limited edition and has almond oil in it, which I love the smell of. Apparently I love almonds. Ooh, smells so good. And it has coconut oil in it for the hydration part. Love that packaging. This Cocoa Christmas Lotion, y'all, is Christmas and a sweet gourmand in a bottle. This kind of reminds me of Christmas cookies a little bit because of the almond creamy note in there. Like Christmas cookies has almond biscotti in it and this one has almond oil. However, almond oil smells really good on me, like on my skin, and it smells really good to me as well. This Cocoa Christmas is actually kind of light on my skin, but it lasts. Like, it's a very light, sweet, almond, vanilla cookie smell to me. This smells like a vanilla almond cookie, y'all, to me, in a bottle, okay? Do you guys hear me? In a bottle, an almond cookie. Who wouldn't want that? Like, what? It smells so good. I gotta get, like, 
four of these or something like I don't know I gotta stock up on it because it's, it's limited edition and you know what this is actually a little bit hydrating and I find that Victoria's Secret and pink lotions are not hydrating at all like I'd rather stick to my Nivea or Jergens or definitely Gold Bond but this smells good it has a very sweet almond vanilla scent on my skin and it's very light, but again, it lasts, and I can smell it for a while throughout the day, so I really, really enjoy this so much. I want to get another bottle, okay? Minimum, I wanna get another one, or I might get 10, who knows? It's that good, you guys, to me. It is that good. I never smell nothing like it. And the last fragrance is this Tease Heartbreaker that I have to show you guys. This says it has in here electric starfruit, purple lotus, and tonka bean. I hope you guys can see that, but it has the notes right there, just three notes. And this retails for $18. However, I got it on their sale part of their website for only, I think, $3.99, so $4. Tea's Heartbreaker smells so good, you guys. I actually saw a body mist and a lotion on their sale site, too. When they put stuff in the sale part of their website, that means that they're either moving the season, so they're trying to get rid of it, or they're gonna discontinue it. Like, I really, really, really hope they're not discontinuing this, because I got put onto this fragrance super duper late. I did see it, like, years prior, but I didn't get it because I'm like, I only like the original tees. I didn't like none of the flankers they were coming out with, so I did skip this one too, and I wish I wouldn't have. Like, I wanna get the perfume of this. I want so many body mists, which that body mist sold out. I posted about it on my Instagram, but yeah, the body mist completely sold out, and they keep bringing it back, then it keeps going out of stock. I'm not messing with all that, but I did get my hands on a rollerball and one lotion of this. You guys, this smells like a very fruity, floral, sweet, gourmand scent. Tea's Heartbreaker smells exactly like the star fruit. It smells like the tonka bean, which is a sweet gourmand part. And it also smells like the purple lotus, which is the floral. A very fruity, floral, warm gourmand scent. I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. It performs so good on my skin. I can smell the rollerball for hours. I wish I got more of this and this scent. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. I'm sad. But yeah, at least I got my hands on this. And I think the rollerball actually sold out, you guys. I think everything sold out in this. But yeah, it smells just amazing. And I love it so much. Okay guys, now I have, other than fragrance, two things to show you guys, a robe that I got and a free item that I got. So here, I love their robes. I saw that they were having these for $35 for the robe, so I did get one, which the robes cost like 60 to 80 bucks, like that's crazy. I'm not spending that much for a robe. But yeah, I got this on sale, and this is a little animal print robe. I love it. I actually already have a white one by them, and these are very soft and cozy. And the last and 12th thing that I got from this haul is this free duffel bag that I got with my purchase. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging, but it's just a plain, simple duffel bag that's a brown camo type color and print. I love getting their camo bags. Do you hear me? Like when I'm on the go or if I'm spending the night out somewhere at a friend's house or my man slash baby daddy's house, I'll just bring a tote bag of all my goodies in there. Or when I was in the hospital too, like when I gave birth to my, you know, kids. This is great to just use for whatever. It's just a very like multi-purpose type of bag. I love duffel bags. They carry good stuff or a good carry-on when you're traveling, you know? So if you can get these for free, like yeah, like I want Want me a free bag that's what i love about victoria's secret because they always give you free bags and they're really cute so i love that whenever i have the opportunity to get me a purse a tote or a duffel bag i hop right on it let me know if you guys can relate and yeah guys that was it of this christmas um sale haul they have so many sales going on they still do they do change um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul mainly this was repurchases for me 
I hopefully plan to restock on a few more scents that I love. And yeah, let's get right into my quote. If anyone can do something in life, why can't you? If Beyonce can do it, or your friend can do it, why can they go for their dreams but you can't? Let me know, why? What's stopping you? The answer is you can, you guys. You can do whatever you put your mind to as long as you put effort behind it and you have faith in yourself that you can do it and that God will provide for you and get you through it as well. Whatever's meant for you guys, the Lord will let happen. Prayer works. Ask and you shall receive. If it's obviously appropriate and it's meant for you, no one can ever take what's meant for you guys, okay? Nobody. No one can. What's meant for you, I feel like it's already written and that's gonna be for you, okay? And also remember too, during these hard times in this pandemic or whatever we go through behind closed doors, you are important, your life has meaning, and you, yes you, have value. Don't get down on yourself just because you may not be where you wanna be in life, me included, like I'm nowhere near where I wanna be in life, but I really wanna continue. I really care about this YouTube thing and you guys, like this is my dream and I want to make it happen. And in Jesus name, I will. I know one day I'll have a million subscribers and hopefully just be able to make this into a career and take care of my kids and my family. Like that's what I want. And you know, hopefully I can make it happen. But anyways, we're still talking about you guys. I hope that you guys can do whatever you put your mind to and whatever you want to do in life, don't get down or discouraged. We all, again, go through a lot of stuff behind closed doors. And you know what? Like, you just got to keep going. Keep your head up. Storms do not last forever. I literally got it tatted on me, okay? Like, I, this is serious. Storms don't last forever. Know that better days are ahead and I just want to encourage you guys and at the end of all my videos and I hope that this helps somebody. You guys have been telling me constantly now that it is helping you and you appreciate it and I'm very happy because I do mean what I'm saying. And yeah, I just want to uplift you guys. It never hurts, you know, to be, you know, positive to someone else. That does not hurt you or affect you in any way. So I'm a very like happy, optimistic, positive person. Most of the times, not all the time. All this niceness has another side to it. Just know that, okay? I get angry just like everybody else. But I choose to be happy and respectful and optimistic. And yeah, all that to say, keep your head up, keep going, and you guys are amazing and I appreciate all of you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one because I have more hauls, videos, fragrance, mommy, you know it, everything. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Be blessed.